how to do a 5,000% Zami solo with no food. All right. Phase one, pretty normal. Well, pre-fight, pre call the witches. Now, if, if this is, if, if you're looking for like optimal strats, you know, for optimal rotations of every single phase, this is not, this is not what's going to be. Uh, you can, uh, you can PM tree time if you want to figure, if you want to get the optimal strats. Uh, this is just what I did to do a 5k no food. So I'm just killing all the witches. Immediately storm shard. Smoke cloud storm shard on Zami. Oh no, sorry. Pre, pre reflect. The pre reflect is very important because it's, it's completely, it doesn't cost any adrenaline. You don't need the reflect later. Pre reflect prevents a lot of damage taken. Storm shard, smoke cloud. Sunshine, I'm just Greater Conk, and Tsunami, Staff Spec. Uh, I think I got a Relentless here, so that's why I I just immediately used Omni Power and like my thresholds. But you, normally I have to use another Greater Conk and either like another filler or thresholds and then Omni Power. But the Relentless made me skip the rotation here. Oh, I also use uh De wait did I use Debilitate? I think my damage. Wait wait. I normally use debilitate here, but since I since I got a relentless, I did so much damage that I didn't even need a debilitate. Yeah, I think I just completely skipped it. Right? He just yeah, I I didn't even debilitate because he he just immediately died. So I I skipped the debilitate and just used devotion because I usually devotion when the bar is green when the shield's gone because then you can block like a, a couple auto attacks and then the next uh, the melees. So use some more uh, you know Arminal battle staff thresholds res the uh, smoke. Uh, throw whatever damage you can. Omni power thresholds, big greater conks, and pretty much got him phased at this point. Now a lot of the times you will not get him phased just because of like RNG, especially if you're doing a whack rotation, which I I would consider my rotation quite whack. But I do have him like basically phased. Uh, this is the threshold, so one little tickle after this point he will phase. So normally, if I'm like at 60k or higher, like uh, like sorry, like 1.3 and then like 60, I do another staff spec. But here he was already phased, so I just didn't even bother. Just for the sake of speed, I just use a threshold, reflect, dropped all the bleeds, resonance to reflect some like a big 9k, and then drop a magma before going through. Now, killing the witch is just like whatever. Dump all your Dump your Omni Power, dump your thresholds. This is just the same every single freaking time. Now, I don't know if this is a hundred percent true, but I like to not end the I don't like to leave Killing the Witch uh using using um what's it called? Using Greater Concentrated Blast because I feel like you don't get your smoke cloud out if you do that. Like like it's it's like something with four ticking where if you if you end on a channeled ability, you can't four tick. It has to end on like a hard stop ability. I don't know if that made any sense, but a non channeled ability. So I I don't know if that actually applies. I've never actually tested it like immensely. I just try not to do that because it's just like habit, I guess. But yeah, um, end with full adrenaline, of course. I just immediately sunshine, drop another corruption. Um, storm shard, res. Then Tsunami Staff Spec, kill the witch. Okay, I, I was supposed to reflect, but I freaking misclicked and didn't reflect, so I took like a massive 6k for no reason. So uh, d don't do that. I Crypt Bloom Shield saved me. Here I uh, switched my pants on with, with Turtling and used Barricade. Absolutely hilarious strat. Shout out to Treebeard. Not Treebeard, but like Tree, tree Time. Think of a freaking Yu-Gi-Oh player. Uh... Tree time for sh for showing me this hilarious strat. Uh, you just barricade and stand in the red and just dump all your damage in. So here I didn't usually usually you kill them fast enough to where you don't need to like do a little bit more damage. But I, my DPS was pretty bad there, so I had to do a few extra thresholds while the ring was still going around, and then 
your devotion, the melees, you reflect almost immediately, like not too quickly after the smoke, but like about two ticks after the smoke comes out, you reflect. The reason why, it's like two to three ticks, because there's a very specific timing where you want to reflect at that time, so you reflect reflect the 30k back to him, and then also you'll have reflect for this. So I, I come over here, kill the switch, because why not? I have a lot of free time, so I reflect again. So the reflect is, I actually, I missed the timing, because I didn't, I didn't get the reflect, so... If you get both the reflex off, you'll reflect the 30k on on the smoke. You'll get you'll reflect another like seven or eight k on on him, in the realm. So you get like a lot of reflect damage. But yeah, that's fine. The, the DPS for phase two is is usually pretty lenient. So if you mess up, it's totally fine. Everything past phase two is where it becomes like absolute hell. It's just like a DPS check after DPS check. So here uh, I'm just using thresholds. I I sun in sun in uh, I tsunami in uh, staff spec in the in furnace, and I sun outside. Here I just I I make sure I reflect on the fifth hit. If I try I try to at least. Um, then I can reflect with high HP and then reflect as much damage as I need to. Um, so in order to phase him, you you really really at this point you want to phase him with like zero auto attacks after the. Uh, after the um, after the cage, so you get as much time to DPS as possible. Same uh, witch killing rotation. Dump all your damage, your thresholds. Build full adrenaline. Uh, make sure you switch your spells to inside fear, and then I like to switch back a little bit early, but that's just based on my rotation. Full adrenaline, sunshine, corruption, storm shard. Reflect, not reflect, resonance, and then uh, tsunami, another ability, staff spec. Dump your uh, omni power. I used to build it here. I don't want to use reflect because I, I want to save reflect for the melee to reflect the 30k. So I used debilitate. Then devotion after like a few abilities. And gonna use uh, tendrils. So now wait like two ticks, and then use reflect. So reflect. Then hit a nice juicy 30k as long as the shield breaks, which I think it does. Yeah, it does break. Okay, so re uh, res after the third auto attack, reflex of 30k, massive damage, and just go through in furnace. So here you you want to do the exact same thing as in phase two. You want to use sun, uh, yeah, not sun. You want to use tsunami and stat spec in here. But the problem is your staff spec is going to be in a long cooldown, so you have to stall for like 10 seconds. So I'm just very slowly stalling. I want to keep his HP around like 35k. So once I see my staff is at like 3 seconds left on cooldown, I use Tsunami, staff spec. Then build on the demon. Kill his booty. Back out, immediately drop his sunshine. Uh, build to 100 if you didn't get it in the Infernus. Getting some massive crits, which is really good, because the DPS check here is, like, pretty... It's, not. It's, it's like, not that tight, but it's, like, it's annoying. So I reflect on the last one. I actually... So here, a lot of the times, I need to still deal, like, 70k damage. So I'm, I would usually just reflect and just soul split tank the... Tank the, uh... The cage. But here, th thankfully, I didn't have to do that. It does get kind of dicey with soul split tanking, because you, you'll take, like, 12k damage from it. But you will probably heal maybe like 3k-ish from the, from dealing damage with soul split. So you'll have to just tank. If it it should phase by then, and then you just you have to use like, I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do. You could debilitate spear shell tank and just sit on shield dome for a bit while you preparation get for a heal. You could also go into the realm, just click on the button, hop over, wait for like. You could wait for like, you know, your resonance timer, come back, res, and then keep going from there. There's, there's stuff you can do. But I'm I'm trying to go as fast as possible here, obviously, so I'm kind of risking it for speed. You know, the you gotta gotta go the uh evil Lucario mentality. So uh same exact rotation as all the other pads, except here I use reflect because I don't need I don't need to use reflect for anything because he's just gonna do the uh He's gonna do the what's it called the this thing the the curl whatever it curls him into a ball I, that's what I call it. <laughs> You're just gonna use uh, immortality, then just keep dumping your omni power thresholds whenever they come back. 
Actually, sorry, you don't want to use Asphyxiate at the start because you'll pop the freaking ball too early. So you don't want to do that. Keep the ball nice and wound. All right, here's where it gets juicy. So after he does the uh, the ring, you're going to want... So what I like to do is I like to go basically to the spot that the ring started at because there's like a pretty high chance that it, it, it will... It won't go all the way around. It'll turn back around at some point. So here, instead of using res, I, I'm spamming divert because I want some adrenaline here. So I spam divert. Divert makes me go from 20 to 75 adrenaline, which is amazing. So I'm going to immediately after divert use devotion to stop as much damage as possible because I, I don't have a res now, right? Because res and divert are on the same cooldown. So I you have the devotion. Uh, block as much hits as possible. Now, depending on how many crits you get, you could just uh, spam a lot of like thresholds and and uh, omni power. But if you get no crits, you're just super freaking unlucky. Then you just gotta keep building. So then, when when this thing comes back around, uh, I uh, vip pot reflect debilitate. Just spam all your freaking defensives. Um, I think I have a crit bloom shield here, so I'm like I'm just chilling. Uh, do I or do I don't actually? I just freaking just raw dog tank it. Okay, I just raw dog tank it. Thankfully, I did enough damage, uh... Oh, here, um... Here's a little scary. I... Didn't have res fast enough, so I just used barricade. But yeah, um... Honestly, that part is, like, pretty heavily RNG'd. If you just don't get crits, uh, you know, in the curl, you might just have to teleport out if you don't get the DPS fast enough. Because if you miss the DPS, uh, thing there, you're gonna have to stall a very long time, which I don't think is really even that doable with no food. I mean, it probably is doable, but I, I'd rather just reset the kill and just go again. So, we kill the witch again. And it, get, it, get, it just gets even more spicy as we keep going. Phase, what is this, five, same rotation, sun. Uh, bleed, storm shard, res, tsunami, greater conch, staff spec, omni power, reflect, threshold or wild magic. It's specific. you don't want to use asphyxiate. Build immortality. Build. Use tendril to lower your HP. You want your HP to be sixty percent or lower, so you get the damage boost. Omni power again. Threshold. Pray you do enough damage. Which I did here. I also like to switch. Um, I switch to incite fear for just five five auto attacks. So I build the stacks and then switch immediately back to exsanguinate. Same thing. Go to where the smoke spawns. I res this time because I adren pot. So I, I don't use divert because if I use divert here, I just take too much damage. I'm just gonna die to like the auto attack. So I res here and just adren pot. Tsunami, uh, use debilitate as fast as you possibly can because you'll take so much freaking damage. Uh, depending on how many uh, crits you get, you can just spam Omni Power more thresholds. Then uh, I had to use Limitless here, but you you definitely want to use uh, Devotion when the melee comes out. Then more thresholds, Res when the smoke goes off, Disruption Shield, Omni Power more more thresholds, and you should come. The, the DPS check for, for phase 5, I think, is even less than in phase 4. Like, fa the, the DPS check for phase 4 is harder, actually. Because you don't get the, like, massive 30k reflect or anything. Last phase. Last phase, honestly, is... Last phase, is, there, there's two parts to it. It's, it's the phase where it's the most dangerous because you will take the most piercing damage. You get absolutely pierced in the booty by the by the, uh, the since the fourth pad is like so heavily charged. Um, but you also can take it. You can take it pretty slow if you want. You can just like shield camp because it's just it's just the last phase. There's no D, there's no DPS threshold you have to hit or anything. Uh, so here same rotation except I don't res. I I swap res and tsunami because now the twin shot is active. So I don't want my res to get sniped. Same thing, you want to just pray you break the shield, Omni Power. I get, I get a, um, 
um, a relentless here, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, just tendril. Omni power, break the shields fast as you can. I think I actually don't even break the shield with this one sun, which is unfortunate. But I got, I got close enough, so it doesn't matter. So I just res here, reflex, so I don't just get pierced. So here, I uh, sunshine. Uh, use preparation so I can res a few times. So I res once. I think I res like twice here, I think. The soul split flick, is, soul split flick as much as you can. No, actually, I only do it once. Okay, then I, I reflex. So here, I see I see there's a pad by him, so I need to surge above him, so I dodge the pad. Like, or, like if I kept if I kept running in a circle, the smoke would have went right through this pad, and I didn't want to, like, I didn't want to play, like, hot potato with the pad. Or not hot potato, like, you know, I, I didn't want to play freaking the floor is lava with the pad and, like, jump around it. So I surge forward so I don't have to go through the pad. Here, I just camp Spirit Shield and do some more Souls with Flicking so I don't freaking die. Then, uh, same thing, Res, Disruption Shield, the, uh, the Smoke. So here, honestly, if his HP was, like, 20k or less, I wouldn't, I would not even stun him. I would just DPS through him and then just let him charge, because you'll, you'll be able to kill him fast enough when you go through the rune. That he won't he won't do the like blast thing, but here his HP was like 50k, so I I had to stun him and then just like I take it slow and just heal a little bit off the demon, but it's fine. Slow and steady wins the race on phase six. So final phase, you want to be full adren, full HP. You want I I use um what I like to do is I just ice barrage, omni power. Threshold, then I res. I you have to make sure you res the second auto attack, because like if you res the first auto attack, he just hits you again and you just take more damage. Uh, sunshine, then tsunami staff spec on the rune. Use devotion here, and then just greater concentrated blast. Then pray melee. Block the hit. Use a. Uh, Reflect, debilitate, disruption shield, and vit pot, literally everything. I res uh, the second hit here. Actually, almost one cycle. That's freaking insane. Res, uh, res the, again, so he does three, three like, typeless hits after the big blast. You don't want to res the first one, because if you res the first one, you're you're still vit potted, so your res will technically heal you half as much. You want to res the second one. If you, the second hit, your vit pot run out, so you, your res will like kill you the full amount basically. And then this is just like a standard finish. You just kill the runes, build before the last one dies, and you get the kill. And that is how, at least I did, a no-food 5k Zami kill. But uh, that's a pretty okay time. Definitely no Evil Lucario. I'm pretty sure if Evil Lucario did a 5k kill, it'd probably be like two minutes faster, but it's, it's, it's fine, it's fine. 1536 is fine.